What name do I have for you? Certainly there is no name for you, in the sense that the stars have names that somehow fit them. I feel that my poetry is sort of like music in the way it kind of unspools. You have to wait until you've heard it to have heard it and to know what it is. It gets to be kind of lonely, but at the same time off-putting, counterproductive, as you realize once again that the longest way is the most efficient way. All kinds of things feed into the experience of writing the room that you're in. the room tone, the sounds that you're hearing. The music passes, emblematic of life, and now you cannot isolate a note of it and say it is good or bad. You must wait till it's over. It's a temporal experience that requires a, a certain amount of living as it's happening. And now that the end is near, the segments of the trip swing open like an orange. There is light in there, and mystery and food. Come see it. Come not for me, but it. But if I am still there, grant that we may see each other. You are getting this poetry from somewhere that wasn't you a minute ago and now is.